Welcome back again to our Cliff Classroom. Now we are going to discuss about the types of proportions. What are the types of proportions? So first we're going to discuss about direct proportion. So direct proportion is as one quantity increases, the other quantity increases at the same rate and vice versa. Then inverse proportion if one quantity increases as the other quantity decreases, so there is what we call the opposite at the same rate and vice versa next we have also the partitive proportion a whole is divided into parts are proportional to the given ratio here is example of a problem uh, about direct proportion a recipe for four people requires 150 grams of salt and 600 milliliters of water question how much salt for seven people b how much water for three people so for letter a so we are going to uh, determine the ratio that is uh, the ratio between salt is to people so so how many salt for seven people we will base from this proportion first proportion if there are four people of uh, oh no no uh, 150 grams of salt 150 is to four people okay that is equal to if there are seven people how many grams of salt and that will be n so to find the uh, amount of salt we're going to cross product Okay, 7 times 150 grams times 4 times N. Okay, so 150 times 7, that will be 0. 7 times 5, 35. 7 times 1 plus 3. Okay, 1,000. 50 set 4 times n is 4n okay so to find n we were going to divide both sides by 4 okay that will be 4 divided 4n divided by 4 that will be n okay so 1000 divided by 1050 divided by 4 so 10 divided by 4 is 2 so 10 minus 8 is 2 bring down 5 25 divided by 5 4 let us have 6 okay 24 25 minus 24 that is 1 bring down 0 10 divided by 4 is 2 so 8 10 minus 8 is 2 then add the decimal point then add 0 bring down 0 20 divided by 4 is 5 so 20 okay so we have here 262.5 okay grams of salt okay let's move to another uh, the next question how much water for three people so ratio is water to people so let us uh, 
based from this ratio how many people there are four people there are 600 ml okay four people 600 ml is equal to three people how much amount of water so n again cross product six times as uh, three times six hundred and four times n okay four times n is four n six three times six hundred that will be zero, zero six times three is eighty one thousand eight hundred okay 1,800 then to get n we will divide both sides by 4 so 4 n divided by 4 is n so 1,800 divided by 4 that would be so 4 this is 4 16 so 2 0 this is 5 so 20 then zero zero so there are 450 ml of water for three people okay let us try examples for the inverse proportion again inverse proportion if one increases the other decreases or if other if one decreases the other increases so there is an opposite uh, reaction okay so let us try number one at 65 kilometer per hour John can reach home in 50 minutes at what speed should he drive his car so that he can reach home 50 minutes earlier so we first identify the ratio so first ratio would be 65 kilometer per hour between uh, is to 50 minutes okay that would be equal to uh, he can reach home 10 minutes earlier that will be 10 minutes earlier than 15 minutes is so 10 a uh, 50 minus 10 that will be 40 minutes so as you can see so if uh, the time or the, the time he drove the car decreases it, the speed must increase diba? so we can gleam here that speed must be uh, greater than this speed okay so let us represent the speed as n so inverse proportion instead of the, the cross product so we are going to uh, directly multiply the first term and the second term and the third term and the fourth term so that will be uh, 65 times 50 is equal to n times 40 so 65 times 50 so that will be 65 times 5 that would be 0 5 2 6 times 5 30 plus 2 32 that would be 3250 is equal to 40 and 40 times n is 40 n so uh, to get the value of n we are going to divide both sides by 40 okay cancel the terminal zeros so 40 and divided by 40 is equal to n 
So that will be 325 divided by 4. So this will be 8. Then 32. 32 minus 32 is 0. Bring down 5. This is 1, 4, then 1, 10. Add 0. That will be 10. So 10, so 2. Then 8. Then 10 minus 8 is 2. So 20 at 0. So 5. So N is equal to 81.25. So this is kilometer per hour. So the speed are going to uh, John, that John, we're, we're going to, uh, the speed will be 81.25 in order to reach its own within 40 minutes. Okay, this will be the speed. Next problem, uh, five workers take 12 days to weed the rice field. How many days would 10 workers take? Okay. So again, so the first ratio is 5 workers is 2, 12 days. Equal, so if there are 10 workers, Okay, there, there will be how many days? So, days is unknown, so we will represent them as N. Okay, are we going to close product? No. So, because this is an inverse, so we are going to multiply the first ratio to the second ratio, then multiply the third ratio to the last, uh, no, the third, uh, third term to the last term. Okay, so... 5 times 12 is equal to 10 times n. So 12 times 5, that will be 10, so 60. So 60, 10 times n is equal to 10n. So to get n, divide both sides by 10. Okay, can. 10 divided by a uh, 10 n divided by 10 is equal to n. 60 divided by 10 is equal to 6. So n is equal to 6. So if there are more worker, there will be la less days for working. Example of a partitive proportion. A certain amount of money is d divided among Rio, Kim, and Leo in the ratio of 5 is to 7 is to 3. If Leo gets 24,000 pesos, how much is the total amount? Okay, so let us first identify to get uh, the amount that Kim and Ryu get, we're going to identify first uh, what is the amount of each unit. So there are a uh, ratio here, the terms are composed of units. So for Ryu, there are 5 units, Kim has 7 units, and Leo has three units so we will identify every unit what is the amount of one unit so since Leo got 24,000 okay so that will be divided by how many units so there are three units for Leo so that will be divided by 3 parts or 3 units.
So, 24,000 divided by 3, that would be... Uh, Eight. So, so one unit is equal to eight thousand. Okay. So Leo has twenty-four thousand. How about Rio? So since Rio has how many units? 5 units so you're going to multiply 5 by the equal amount of, of its units so 1 unit is equal to 8,000 that would be 5 times 8,000 so the amount of Rio uh, get is 8,000 times 5 that would be 40,000 next for Kim Kim has how many part or how many units so Kim has 7 part or 7 units so 7 times how many what is the amount of one part or one unit? It is 8,000. So, 7 times 8, that would be 56. So, 0, bring down 0, terminal zeros. The 6. Okay, 56,000. Okay. So, Kim has 56,000. Next problem on partitive proportion. Anna owns a fruit stand with three kinds of fruits, santol, mango, and rambutan. If the sale for the three fruits are 78 pesos, 26 pesos, and 91 pesos respectively, what is the ratio of the sales among the three fruits? So, the question is, we are going to find the ratio okay we simply so santol for 78 26 for mango rambutan for 91 we simply get the greatest common factor or the gcf of the three terms okay so so we have here three terms 78 26 91 what prime number can we divide of these three terms so we have 30. 78 divided by 13 is 6. 26 divided by 13 is 2. 91 divided by 13 is 7. So the ratio of the three fruits are 6 is to 2 is to 7. That's all for now guys. So thank you for watching. I hope you will learn from it. So remember always that practice makes you good and better in math. Thank you.